Have you ever wondered why platforms don't get shut down when they host extremist content? Why Twitter doesn't get sued every time someone spreads misinformation? Or how sites like 4chan even exist? That's because of Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Or the 26 words that created the internet. Once upon a time, way back in the 50s, the owner of an LA bookstore was sentenced to 30 days in jail for selling a book with obscene content in it. This case was taken to the US Supreme Court who deemed it unconstitutional because there was no way that the bookstore owner could review every single bit of content in each book before selling it. From there, the law changed so you could no longer be held liable for the content you were selling unless you knew it was illegal. You might be wondering what any of this has to do with the laws of the internet. Well, it has everything to do with them. Swap out the bookstore for Twitter and the books for tweets, and that's how Section 230 works. Passed in 1996, in the early days of the internet, Section 230 rules that an online platform can't be held liable for the content posted by the users on it. And in most cases, the users won't be held liable either. They're immune because platforms are not seen as publishers. Let's use Twitter as an example. If someone tweets something inappropriate, Twitter won't get in trouble for it. They can create guidelines about what they won't allow on their platform, but they won't get sued for what you tweet. Which is why we all feel like we can say or do whatever we want on their platform. If Twitter could get sued for everything you tweet, it probably wouldn't exist, and neither would our other favourite social media sites. But why does it feel like this law governs all of us when it's a US law? Most of the big user-generated content platforms that have shaped the Western internet were founded in and operate out of the US. So the rules of Section 230 apply to them and us. A lot of other countries base their internet rules on it too. But different countries do have different rules. For example, Australia's High Court just ruled that news companies in the country can be held responsible for comments left on their social media pages. These days, Section 230 is heavily debated. Some say it lets companies get away with too little moderation, some say too much. Some people say we just shouldn't touch it at all. I say, I'm just glad I'm not a lawyer.